With the release of Beyond Light came a slew of new abilities, weapons, and perks just waiting to be utilized. Today I wanted to talk to you about the new perk recombination and its potential, as well as the bug that is currently holding it back in PvP. But before we get into that, I wanted to ask you guys for a really big favor. Please drop a like and comment down below if you enjoyed or learned something new from this video. It really helps out the algorithm and allows me to possibly end up in the recommendation section of YouTube, therefore being able to help and reach more guardians. Don't forget I'll be giving away two Model O mouses at 5,000 subscribers, so be sure to smash that subscribe button to enter and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss a video and a chance to win. Now when looking at the perk pool in terms of damage perks that are geared towards PvP, it is quite rare to find new weapons that possess Kill Clip or Rampage. You would either find them in raid weapons or scattered around pre-Beyond Light seasons in reprise weapons. I suspect we will soon see these damage perks phased out and replaced with perks such as Killing Wind, Opening Shot, and Thresh. New perks that emphasize more synergy with the other perks in the weapon or even the Guardian stats, such as Killing Wind giving a boost for mobility, range, and handling after a kill. I personally enjoy these more than Kill Clip being that it pushes the player to give more attention to their armor stats and loadout rather than just strapping on a gun with Kill Clip Outlaw then jumping into Crucible. Of course there is nothing wrong with that, however with Kill Clip being uncontested as a top tier PvP perk, having more perk variety in the game is not only refreshing to the sandbox but also to the game as a whole, being that you will allow players to have more creative powerful options when it comes to PvP that give just as much lethality and advantage than its competitors Kill Clip and Rampage. Which brings me to the new perk, Recombination, which can be found in the new Raid Shotgun and Sniper released with Deepstone Crypt. This perk allows elemental final blows to increase the damage of this weapon's next shot. When using the perk, it seems to be working fine in PvE, with the damage progressing as it should, as seen in this example. However, in PvP, it is a totally different story, and this perk is inconsistent to say the least. So I decided to test this with body shots at 1, 4, 7, and 10 stacks against my friend Paper Planes at 5 resilience. I did not want to go through every stack, being that I simply wanted to prove the point that the perk is inconsistent in PvP. These were my results. Base damage was at 151, 1 stack at 151, 4 stacks at 151, 7 stacks still at 151, and 10 stacks at 226, which is a one-shot kill to a Guardian with 5 resilience. These results seem to be very random when compared to the numbers Cool Guy put up on his review for the Heritage Shotgun on the 24th of November. This leads me to believe that the update on the 24th of November may have somehow bugged this perk, being that the footage recorded for that video had been before the update. I also cross-referenced this with a video that Ascatross put out, which was after the update on the 25th of November, where he states that the perk unfortunately does not apply in PvP. So after gathering this data, I decided to go to the Destiny forum and Reddit to see if there was a shadow nerf or an update that caused this inconsistency to happen, which led me to a post from a user called Firefun Bro. The data in his post show that he was also experiencing inconsistencies in PvP. His recorded damage numbers were baseline at 151, 1 stack at 158, 2 stacks at 166, 3 stacks at 172, 4 stacks 151, 5 stacks 151, 6 stacks 151, 7 stacks 203. He states that he stopped at 7 stacks since suddenly the perk started working and was adding damage. As you can see, his findings were drastically different from mine, being that his recombination perk worked at 1 through 3 stacks then continued to work after 7 stacks, compared to none of my stacks working until hitting 10 stacks. The purpose of this video is to bring more attention to this bug in PvP so that it does not get swept under the rug and hopefully is brought back to the damage numbers Cool Guy illustrated in his video prior to the update on the 24th of November. If fixed, this could be one of the most creative and lethal perks in the game. I personally think Bungie nailed this one, being that they did not just lazily slap on a damage dealing perk with very little prerequisite, but rather found a creative way to promote primary gunplay and class abilities while also allowing the player to be rewarded for the kills acquired by both those options. Anyhow, that's all I have for you guys today. Please share and like this video so that maybe we can get someone at Bungie to take a look at this bug or to at least acknowledge its existence. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. Thank you again so much for watching and peace.